everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching a movie. We're watching The Princess Bride, a movie from 1987. Apparently it's really good. So I'm really excited to uh, see what it's all about. It's been a while since, uh, you know, it was on the polls and stuff and it always gathered a lot of votes. So I'm happy that this week uh, I get to watch it. So as usual, if you want to see the whole reaction, there'll be a link to my Patreon in the description. You also get to vote on the movies that I watch every week, so if you're interested, just go have a look. If not, it's totally fine. The movies will still show up here every Friday. So, let's get into it. <coughs> you feeling any better? A little bit. Your grandfather's here. Mom, can't you tell me I'm sick? <coughs> you're sick? I'll pinch my cheek. I hate that. Hey, how's the sickie, huh? I brought you a special present. A book? That's right. <laughs> the disappointment. Is it got any sports in it? Are you kidding? Fencing, fighting, torture, true love, miracles. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll try and stay awake. The vote of confidence is overwhelming. <laughs> the Prince's Bride. We're getting right into it. Chapter One. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florin, and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. His name was Wesley, but she never called him that. Farm boy, polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face shining in it by morning. As you wish. Uh, they're both familiar. As you wish was all he ever said to her. Hmm. That day she was amazed to discover that when he was saying as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. Was it? And even more amazing <laughs> was the day she realized she truly loved him back. Fetch me that picture. As you wish. Hold it, hold it. What is this? Are you trying to trick me? Is this a kissing book? Wait, just mm -hmm. wait. When does it get good? It just started. It's the first page, dude. I fear I'll never see you again. But what if something happens to you? I will always come for you. This is true love. I think this happens every day. His ship was attacked by the dread pirate Roberts, who never left captives alive. When Buttercup got the news that Wesley was murdered... Murdered by pirates is good. She went into her room and shut the door. I will never love again. Mm -hmm. Five years later, the main square of Florence City was filled as never before to hear the announcement of the great Prince Humperdinck's bride-to-be. Humperdinck's? It's interesting. My people! The Princess Buttercup! How did we get here? Although the law of the land gave Humperdinck the right to choose his bride, uh, he chose she her. Did not love him. Of course not. The only joy she found was in a daily ride. A word, my lady. Is there a village nearby? Hey. There is nothing nearby, not for miles. And there will be no one to hear you scream. Whoa. He said good night. Once the horse reaches the castle, the fabric will make the prince suspect the Gildarians have abducted his love. Mm. You just don't think it's right, killing an innocent girl. Am I going mad? Or did the word think escape your lips? Want me to send you back to where you were? Unemployed in Greenland? Vicini, he can fuss. Fast, fast. Think he like to scream at us? Probably he means no harm. He's very, really, very really short on charm. Mm -hmm. A great gift for Ryan. Yes, yes. Some of the time. Enough of that. No more rhymes now. I mean it. Anybody want to pin it? Okay. You are sure nobody's follow us? 
As I told you, it would be absolutely, totally, and in all other ways, inconceivable. We just happened to look behind us and something is there. What? <laughs> Oh. Probably some local fisherman out for a pleasure cruise at night through eel-infested waters. Oh, oh. Go in! Get after her! I don't swim. I only duck paddle. <laughs> Those are the shrieking eels. Grow louder when they're about to feed on human flesh. <laughs> she doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. I'm explaining to you because you look nervous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we can stop now if you want. No, you could read a little bit more if you want. And then... Put her down! Just put her down! I suppose you think you're brave, don't you? Only compared to some. We're safe! Only Fezzik is strong enough to go up our way. He'll have to sail around for hours till he finds a harbor. Jeez. He's climbing the rope. <laughs> and he's getting on us. Inconceivable. Well, start conceiving it because it's happening. I'm killing three people. And he got on himself. I do not accept excuses. I'm just going to have to find myself a new giant, that's all. Don't say that, Vincini. Please. This dude's annoying. Is it the farm boy? You got very good arms. <laughs> he didn't fall? Inconceivable. You keep using the word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> I'm going to do him left-handed. You know what a hurry we're in! If I use my right, over too quickly. Oh, have it your way. <laughs> Slow going? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, suppose you've got to spit things up. If you're in such a hurry, you could lower a rope or a tree branch. I've got some rope up here, but I do not think it would accept my help, since I am only waiting around to kill you. That does put a damper on our relationship. Ah. It is him. I promise I will not kill you until you reach the top. I swear on the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya, you will reach the top alive. Throw me the rope. <laughs> We'll wait, we'll, wait, we'll wait until you're ready. Again, thank you. <laughs> but you don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand? Do you always begin conversations this way? My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. It was a great sword maker, my father. Whoa. That is a nice sword. I've never seen its equal. So naturally, I challenged his murderer to a duel. Six-fingered man lived me a life. But he gave me this. I dedicate my life to the study of fencing. So the next time we meet, I will go up to the six-fingered man and say, My name is Inigo Montoya. Kill my father. Prepare to die. I certainly hope you find him someday. You are ready then? Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. See my distant fellow. I hate to kill you. <laughs> you seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. Oh. I admit it, you are better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. I am not left-handed. He's gonna say, neither am I. Oh, there's something I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. <laughs> Whoops. Who are you? No one of consequence. I must know. Get used to disappointment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm kill him. Since I can't have you following me either. <clears throat> Knock him out. Please understand, I hold you in the highest respect. 
What did I do? Finish him. Finish him! Your way! Which was my way? Pick up one of those rocks, get behind the boulder, the minute his head is in view, hit it with the rock! He was not a sportsman like <laughs> No. I did that on purpose. I don't have to miss. I believe you. No tricks, no weapons. Skill again, skill along. You mean you'll put down your rock and I'll put down my sword and we'll try and kill each other like civilized people? I can kill you now. Frankly. Are you just fiddling around with me or what? I just want you to feel you're doing well. <laughs> I hate for people to die in the house. Why are you wearing a mask? Burn the acid or something like that? Oh no, it's just they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. You use different moves when you're fighting. Half a dozen. Then we only have to be one. How about one? Do not envy you the headache you will have when you awake. But in the meantime, rest well and dream of large women. There was a mighty duel. He's also here? Ranged all over. Clearly, this was all planned by warriors of Gilda. We must all be ready for whatever lies ahead. Would this be a trap? I always think everything could be a trap. Is why I'm still alive. If you wish you're dead, by all means, keep moving forward. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You're trying to kidnap what I've rightfully stolen. Perhaps <laughs> an arrangement can be reached? Sure, dude. No, you're no match for my brains. But that's smart. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Really? In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept. Good. Then pour the wine. The Iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Hmm. All right. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we both drink and find out who is right and who is dead. You must have known I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going! You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could have put the poison in your own goblet, trusting on your strength to save you, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my Spaniard which means you must have studied. And in studying, you must have learned that man is mortal, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. Make your choice. I will, and I choose. What in the world can that be? What? Where? Could have sworn I saw something. I, uh, no matter. <laughs> Let's drink. Me from my glass, and you from yours. <laughs> guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched glasses when your back was turned. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm no one to be trifled with. It's obviously the farm the boy. Cup that was poisoned. They were both poisoned. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to Iocane powder. Oh. Someone that's been smart. <laughs> Think your dearest love will save you? I never said he was my dearest love. And yes, he will save me. That I know. You admit to me you do not love your fiance. He knows I do not love him. I'm not capable of love, is what you mean. I have loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. Where I come from, there are penalties when a woman lies. She doesn't recognize him? Come okay. on. She is alive, or was an hour ago. If she is otherwise, when I find her, I shall be very poor.
put out. Okay. Your cruelty reveals everything. You're the dread pirate Roberts. Admit it. With pride. What can I do for you? You killed my love. It's possible. I kill a lot of people. Huh? A farm boy. Poor. Poor and perfect. With eyes like the sea after a storm. You mock my pain! Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. I asked him what was so important for him here. True love, he replied. And then he spoke of a girl of surpassing beauty and faithfulness. I can only assume he meant you. You should bless me for destroying him before he found out what you really are. And what am I? Now, tell me truly. When you found out he was gone, did you get engaged to your prince that same hour, or did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? I died that day! And she didn't want to marry him? Two for all I care! Oh! Holy shit. As you wish! What have I done? <laughs> oh. oh my oh. god. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> can you move at all? Move? You're alive. If you want, I can fly. How is he this all these years? I told you I would always come for you. You were dead. Death cannot stop true love. Sometimes. All it can do is delay it for a while. Oh. Oh no. No, please. They're kissing again. Yeah. You have to hear the kissing part. Someday you may not mind so much. <laughs> A few more steps and we'll be safe in the fire swamp. We'll never survive. You're only saying that because no one ever has. It's not that bad. I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but the trees are actually quite lovely. <laughs> One thing I will say. Fire Swamp certainly does keep you on your toes. <laughs> Three years you said that. Good night, Wesley. Good work. Sleep well. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. <laughs> it was a fine time for me. I was learning to fence. Roberts and I eventually became friends. And then it happened. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. My name is Ryan. I inherited the ship from the previous Dread Pirate Roberts, just as you will inherit it from me. The man I inherited it from was not the real Dread Pirate Roberts either. His name was Kamabun. Then he explained that the name was the important thing for inspiring the necessary fear. No one would surrender to the Dread Pirate Wesley. So we sailed ashore, took on an entirely new crew, and he stayed aboard for a while as first mate. He left the ship, and I have been Roberts ever since. Except now that we're together, I shall retire and hand the name over to someone else. Is everything clear to you? Oh, boy. What are they like huge rats? Oh, six, eight. The lightning sand, but you were clever enough to discover what that looks like, so in the future we can avoid that too. Wesley, mm -hmm. what about the RUSs? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think that rodents have oh. my visuals. That's quite the adventure. Is that so terrible? Oh no. Surrender! You mean wish to surrender to me? Very well, I accept. I give you full marks for bravery. For the last time, surrender! Death first! Will you promise not to hurt him? What was that? What was that? If we surrender, will you promise not to hurt this man? Promise to return him to his ship? I swear it will be done. Once we're out of sight, take him back to Florin and throw him in the pit of despair. I swear it will be done. What an ass. We must get you to your ship. 
Mm. Oh. What is it? You have six fingers on your right hand. Someone was looking for you. Where am I? The pit of despair. Don't even think. <coughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. The chains are far too thick. And don't dream of being rescued either. Then I'm here till I die? Till I kill you, yeah. Then why bother curing me? <sighs> the Prince and the Count always insist on everyone being healthy before they're broken. So it's to be torture? I can cope with torture. <laughs> don't believe me? Nobody withstands the machine. Before the father was dawn, Buttercup and Humperdinck were married. And at noon, she met her subjects again, this time as their queen. Hold it, hold it, Grandpa. You read that wrong. She doesn't marry Humperdinck, she marries Wesley. And just sure of it. After all that Wesley did for her, if she didn't marry him, it wouldn't be fair. He's invested now. Life is fair. I present to you your queen, Buttercup. Bow to the queen of slime, rubbish, filth. She dreaming? Muck, foe. Yeah. See, didn't I tell you she'd never marry that rotten humperdink? Yes, you're very smart. Shut up. <laughs> if you tell me I must marry you in ten days, please believe I will be dead by morning. Consider our wedding off. Are you certain he still wants you? My Wesley will always come for me. I'll send my four fastest ships, one in each direction. If Wesley wants you, bless you both. If not, please consider me as an alternative to suicide. Are we agreed? That's fucked, because... is really quite a winning creature. He knows... Trifle. Simple. He's in the pit. Appeal is undeniable. But when I hired Vazini to have her murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. Oh my Once God. Gilded is blamed. Who is it? That secret knot. That's <sighs> Are you coming down into the pit? I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilda to frame for it. I'm swamped. I'm swamped. Get some rest. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. <laughs> All right, so that was him. Yeah, because why would the the guy want to start a war? Like he didn't really explain his reasons. Wow, and that was one. As you know, the how do you feel? <laughs> Interesting. Is everybody out? Almost. There's a Spaniard giving us some trouble. Will you give him some trouble? Oh. I'm waiting for you, Vicini. You told me to go back to the beginning. I have. You brute, come here. I am waiting for Vicini. Sure you are, Mimi. Hello. It's you. Mm. Ah! I feel fine. Yeah. Fezzik and Inigo were reunited. Fezzik took great care in reviving Inigo. That's enough! That's enough! The castle gate is guarded by 30 men. How many could you handle? I don't think more than 10. Live in 20 for me. I need the man in black. What? He must have outthought Vicini. And a man who can do that can plan my castle onslaught any day. For 20 years, at last, my father's soul will be at peace. There will be blood tonight! 30 men guard the castle gate. Double it. The gate has but one key. And I carry that. <laughs> 
Tomorrow morning, your men will escort us to Florin Channel, where every ship in my armada waits to accompany us on our honeymoon. Every ship but the four you sent? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Naturally not those four. <clears throat> your Majesty. You never sent the ships. Don't bother lying. Mm. Leslie and I are joined by the bonds of love, and you cannot track that. Not with a thousand bloodhounds, and you cannot break it. Not with a thousand swords. And when I say you are a coward, that is only because you are the slimiest weakling ever to crawl the earth. I would not say such things if I were you. You truly love each other, and so you might have been truly happy. Not one couple in a century has that chance, no matter what the storybooks say. And so I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you will. Well. Not to 50! <laughs> Do you hear? That is the sound of ultimate suffering. My heart made that sound when Ruga slaughtered my father. The man in black makes it now. The man in black? Pardon me, it's important. Pass it, please. Everybody, go! Thank you. You get that from this grove, yes? Fezzik, jog his memory. I'm sorry, Nigo. I don't mean to jar him so hard. <laughs> you cannot find him alone. I need you. Is he still alive though? That would that was bad. He probably is, but Dude, there's a door right there. <laughs> oh. He's dead. It's not fair. Who kills Prince Humperdinck? At the end, somebody's got to do it. Is it Inigo who? Nobody kills him. He lives. You mean he wins? Jesus, Grandpa, what did you read me this thing for? I'm okay. I'm okay. Sit down. All right. <laughs> All right, now let's see. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Have you any money? I have a little. I just hope it's enough to buy a miracle. That's all. <laughs> the way he's carrying him. Go away! What? What? Are you the Miracle Max who worked for the king all those years? King's thinking son fired me. And thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! We need a miracle. It's very important. So why would you want someone the king's thinking son fired? I might kill whoever you wanted me to miracle. He's already dead. He is, eh? Huh? I'll take a look. Bring him in. <laughs> I've seen worse. You got money? 65. <laughs> I never worked for so little, except once, and that was a very noble cause. This is noble, sir. His wife is crippled. His children are on the brink of starvation. Well, you are a rotten liar. I need him to help avenge my father. Well, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. Well, with all dead, there's usually only one thing that you can do. What's that? Go through his clothes and look for loose change. <coughs> hey! <laughs> Hello in there! Hey, what you got here that's worth living for? True love. I could not ask for a more noble cause than that. True love is the greatest thing in the world, except for a nice MLT, a mutton lettuce and tomato sandwich when the mutton is nice and lean. Ever since Prince Humperdinck fired him, his confidence is shattered. Why'd you say that name? You promised me that you would never say that name. What? Humperdinck? Ah! Humperdinck! Ah! Humperdinck! Ah! Humperdinck! Ah! Humperdinck! Ah! If you heal him, Humperdinck! he will stop Humperdinck's ah! wedding. Shut sure. I make him bear the Humperdinck's suffers. Humiliations galore. I'm on the job. <laughs> That's a miracle pill. The chocolate coating makes it go down easier, but you have to wait 15 minutes for full potency. And you shouldn't go in swimming after for at least what? An, an hour. Yeah, an a hour. A good hour. Yeah. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. 
So they have to carry him for 15 minutes. We'll have to force feed him. Has it been 15 minutes? We can't wait. Oh, he needed. Okay, yeah. Thing before they gave it to him, they needed to wait 15 minutes. Why won't my arms move? You've been mostly dead all day. We have Miracle Max. Make a pill to bring you back. Why am I on this wall? Where's Buttercup? Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Buttercup is Mary Humper. Then if I had a month to plan, maybe I could come up with something for this. You just shook your head. That doesn't make you happy. <laughs> My brains. <laughs> a little head jiggle is supposed to make me happy. Hmm? Once I find you again, how do we escape? Don't test her. It's out of our day. Right. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I hope we win. You don't seem excited, my little muffin. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. Marriage, that blessed arrangement, <laughs> that dream within a dream. There's another, like, there's a series or another movie. They made a reference to that. I never knew what it came from. All you wolves, nightmares, I'm about to come true. Then run, true run, will follow you. Have you the wind? Here comes my Wesley now. Fezzik, the portcullis! Your Wesley is dead. I killed him myself. Then why is there fear behind your eyes? Give us the gate key. I have no gate key. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Oh, you mean this gate key? <laughs> Under you, Princess Bahwa. Man and wife! Say man and wife! Man and wife. Escort the bride to the honeymoon suite. I'll be there shortly. He didn't come. He's coming. <laughs> Kill the dark one and the giant, but leave the third for questioning. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I thought he would be a, a really good fighter, but he's just running away. Uh oh. Can he walk now? Sorry, Father. You must mm. be that little Spanish brat I taught a lesson to all those years ago. No. There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It would be a pity to damage yours. Wesley! Oh, Wesley, darling! Uh. Wesley! <laughs> Good heavens. Are you still trying to win? Oh. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Montoya, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop saying that! Oh. Ah, no! Offer me money. Yes. Power to promise me that. All that I have and more. Anything you want. <laughs> I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Oh. He gave him exactly the same... All the same wounds. 
Wesley, will you ever forgive me? You say I do? Oh, no. Sort of skip that part. Then you're not married. Yay! Wouldn't you agree, Your Highness? <gasps> A technicality that will shortly be remedied. To the death! No! To the pain. I don't think I'm quite familiar with that phrase. I'll explain, and I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. <laughs> to the pain means the first thing you lose will be your feet below the ankles. Then your hands at the wrists. And then my ears, I understand. Let's get on with it. Wrong! Your ears you keep, and I'll tell you why. So that every shriek of every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Since it means I leave you in anguish, wallowing in freakish misery forever. I think you're bluffing. It's conceivable, you miserable, vomitous mass. But I'm only lying here because I lack the strength to stand. <laughs> Perhaps I have the strength after all. Drop your sword. Have a seat. Where's the first thing? I thought he was with you. No. In that case, mm -hmm. <coughs> help him. What is Wesley need helping? Because he has no strength. I knew it. I knew you were bluffing. I knew he was bluffing. Shall I dispatch him for you? Whatever happens to us, I want him to live a long life alone with his cowardice. In he goes. And there they were. Four white horses. And I thought, there are four of us. If we ever find the lady. Hello, lady. So I took them with me. In case we ever bumped into each other. And I guess we just did. You did something right. No way. I wanted it go to my head. <laughs> Now that it's over, I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Have you ever considered piracy? You'd make a wonderful Dread Pirate Roberts. Huh? <laughs> We're just leaving him there? The they road to freedom as they reach for each other. What? What? Now it's kissing again. You don't want to hear that. I don't mind so much. Since the invention of the kiss, there have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate, the most pure. This one left them all behind. The end. Now, I think you ought to go to sleep. Grandpa, maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. As you wish. Oh. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> this was so wholesome. I really enjoyed that. It was like easy, light, funny, and also like right there in the end when the the. The grandpa said, uh, as you wish, and we know that, you know, he explained that as you wish, he meant I love you, and I just think that was very sweet, it made me tear up a little bit, but um, yeah, that was such an interesting format, uh, like way of uh, telling the story, I really enjoyed that, I was reading the story and we kept going back and forth, and you know, it could also almost be seen as like, a parody of fairy tales but I, I didn't feel like they were making fun of fairy tales but mostly like they were just embracing the um what makes a fairy tale you know it's like it felt magical and just like yeah like I said they, it felt like they were just embracing it and being aware of all the the tropes you know the true love and just it was very well done and I, I enjoyed it a lot. The actors were also very good. I'm glad that Inigo got to have his revenge. I thought he might die. I'm, I, I still hope he's okay. Like he still got stabbed in his belly and that's... Like he inflicted the same wounds as he got to the other guy and the other guy died. So...
just hope he's okay. <laughs> I can see why this movie has such like a, you know, people still watch it today and I'm sure that it's a, a very like nostalgic movie to watch back if you grew up uh, seeing that movie. I could clearly see well, how it would be like a feel good movie. And yeah, the, the marriage scene, well, sorry, the marriage scene. Just know that in a show or a movie, I heard someone like pretending to do that speech. I just didn't know where it came from. And uh, <laughs> I mean, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I think it's, uh, it's from This Is Us. Now I see that there was a reference in This Is Us and it's Kevin. It's in his uh, wedding toast. So yeah, from that, I was just like, what's going on? What is he doing? But uh, now I see that it's from The Princess Bride. So I knew it had to come from somewhere. It was too random in the show to not be something. But yeah, that was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was The Princess Bride. I really liked it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another movie. And thank you so much for watching.